And I am back. I want to recap the month of April. I didn't run as much as I would like to. My total was like 56.3 miles. That's because the weather was pretty terrible at the beginning of April. It took forever to spring to get here. I'm a warm weather runner. I really don't like running out in the cold. If I have to, I will. You know, just do a couple of miles. But warm weather is here. It's upon us. So my mileage will, will go up. It has to go up. It has to get warmer. <laughs> and it has the past couple of days. It's been like in the 70s or 80s. I took about April. We I ran two races. I ran a 5K and a 10K. All this is to kind of prepare me for the Brooklyn half in May. But the 5K was out in Coney. That was like two weeks ago. It was the Brooklyn Pace 5K. First time running in this race. We won Kings. The run team hosted that race. Shout out to them. I had a friend of mine was on that team. It was a great, it was a great event. $35. It's a medal race. They fed you. DJ was there. Let me show you the medal. Cool medal for thirty-five dollars. Very, very cool medal. Better than the medal. Man, a personal best. Twenty-five fourteen. The goal, at some point, maybe not this year, is to get to twenty-five even. But yeah, I've. It was a beautiful day that day, and Coney Island, the boardwalk, is pretty flat. Boardwalk's a little bumpy, and it was the race was maybe like two fifty, three hundred people was at this race. I I like the small local races because you know it allows you to kind of space the maneuver. Unlike the race I ran a week ago with the ten k. And this was like 10,000 people. It was kind of crowded and congested. It was out in Central Park. It was a UAE healthy kidney race. First time on it in this race too. It was a cool race. I liked it. It, it. You know, first elite runners went. And then everybody else went. So we were... I was kind of like blocked in for the first two, three miles. Because it was, we were always in the tight quarters. But at the end, I did pretty well. I know I did better than well. Um, what about time? 58.05. And that is a personal best. One second. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm amazed that, yeah, I ran a personal best. Because, like, midway through the race, like, when I hit Harlem Hill, which is the toughest hill and in my opinion, in that part was Harlem Hill. I was like, oh, <laughs> you know, anytime you hit that hill, I mean, I was prepared. I, I did hill work, but and I know about Harlem Hill because I ran that park before, and it's just, I don't want to say nobody gets used to hill work or you know just running uphill. You just do the best you can, but I did. Didn't stop. Kept going. And I attacked it pretty good. To, and I told myself, if I could get over this hill, it, it's smooth sailing from here. And it pretty much was. Like I said before, 58.05. Personal best by one second. And I will take it every time. It kind of made me think that... um. If I wasn't blocked in the, for the first two to three miles, could I have ran a faster time? We'll find out because that's when my next 10K is in June out in Queens. Now that race course, not a lot of, it, it's not as tough as the Central Park. It's one hill, ran a race last year. I was a little disappointed in my time, but I finished strong at that 10k so we'll, we'll see we'll see i will be better i will be very prepared for that 
But now, speaking of being prepared, I'm all in on this Brooklyn half, which is going to happen in about two weeks. Keep the calendar. Yeah, two weeks. And I'm super excited about this race. Try to run it last year, sold out in less than an hour. I think this year it sold out in two hours. But prepare for my race. I've been prepared for this race, asking people what should I look out for, how's the course, because I've never ran this course of Brooklyn, and I've, from what I've been told, and my people's never let me down. It's flat. You got nothing to worry about. So, I take their word for it. And, you know, to me, this race is going to be like a big party, because there's a lot of people that I know who are on other race teams, and even on my race team, that are running this race. So this race is going to be more like of a big party. And I think afterwards, you get to go on the baseball field and take pictures with the Cyclones play. So that's going to be kind of cool and whatnot. I'm just praying for nice weather, you know, on that day. And then after that Brooklyn half, what I'm going to do is probably take a week off and then train myself for the... Uh, New York City Marathon, which is the first race that's on my bucket list. Um, I've been asking people, again, I have friends and they ran the race before and asking them what's the toughest borough, what's this, how should I train? And I've been taking in the feedback that they've been giving me. I really can't wait. You know, it's... It, it, it's going to be a journey. It's going to be a struggle. I'm going to have good training runs, bad training runs. But before I, I even train for that race, something might happen to me. They're not dealing with racing. That's going to have, that might change my schedule. I might be up for a new job. And the job that I'm up for, I might, I might be working nights. And if that's the case, so. Uh, I would have to change, you know, everything around. I can't run when I want to run. So, we'll see. We'll, we'll wait for that. I should be finding out about this possible new job in about a week or so. So, that would be like a... So, like, that would be perfect timing. So, then I could kind of map out, you know... Hopefully, knock on wood, I have off on weekends. Because that's when... I, I can do my long runs on the weekends, and maybe my shorter runs on the weekdays. But we'll see. But we'll see how this whole thing with the job tip works out. But it was weird because, like, when I, you know, when they told me I was being considered and they told me how much I might be getting paid, like I said before, it, it's more than the job that I'm working now. It was like, I, you know, the, the runner in me was thinking, oh, that's dope. That means, that, you know, I can, like, now have enough money where I can run out of the state. Because I did, I ran out of the state last year. You know, ran one race out of the state. It was amazing. And I, I want to do more of that in the future. Maybe Vegas, California. You know, I'm building up friends on Twitter and Instagram. So, you know, maybe I can run these races and whatnot and... You know, it's it's pretty exciting when you when when you talk to other runners and yeah, I like nerd out on certain things or whatever. I, I like stuff like that. It, it's always funny to me. Well, um, let me get going to bed because um, I want to go to sleep, wake up, and do what? You guessed it, run. <laughs> I'll speak to y'all later.